two chains. Money's the motivation. That's the emotion and the energy we're gonna need. Okay, now let's talk about straight fundamentals. We go with it. The ball. The ball. The ball of the game. As a as an operations director, um, a lot of my job goes into all the behind the scenes stuff. I mean, and essentially, in a nutshell, if if you don't hear about me or or see me, you, my job is being done. Um, everything from the team travel to the student support. Um, and one thing that, that I've got from Coach Carr that I'm big on is, is accountability. So that's getting all the student support guys from managers to video to recruiting and having everybody take pride in what they do and do the, their job best that they can. You know, the new mentality of practice is the up-tempo and um, the sense of come in and get the job done and let's get out of here and, and uh, you know, take care of each other and take care of the job. Um, we're known as the, be the, the best equipment staff in the uh, OVC, especially uh, dealing with the OVC officials. They've come out and told us that, you know, hey, we, we'd rather deal with y'all guys every Saturday than anybody else. And we pride ourselves in that, um, just doing the things right. You know, and we've steadily got new Looking for new and better things every week um, to do to better this, you know, better us, better the team, you know, doing whatever we can for the team. If it means coming in, you know, four hours early, we're, you know, we'll be here. Since day one, Coach Clark's always talked about um, having the top of the line gear, and uh, since he's been here, that's all it has been. It's uh, he's gotten this, we've gotten two new uniforms, home and away. Coaches expect more of us, but they also help us out. I feel like it's more organized and you know where you're going. We get more plays in than we ever had. The players are in a lot better shape than they have been, so that means we've got to be working harder than we have been in the past. Got a masterpiece and a 41 millimeter, you ain't even know it. Keep the f in my pocket, I ain't gonna show it till I have to pop it, then you gonna know it. Damn, who shot you? Defense has improved tremendously. I mean, the way the defense run things, we gotta move fast to the ball. We in shape, and we actually do our assignment. Last year we didn't do our assignment. We played more free ball because we was in the by itself. We felt like at times, but this year we're a family, and family stick together. I really appreciated how the coaching middles have weight. We really didn't have to adjust to a new coaching staff. They adjusted to us by taking time out to get to know the players and our personalities and they helped us become one on the field. Because I felt like we had to meet the coaches and go the whole way and adjust to everything they did. We wouldn't be as successful as we was today. expectations uh, from the linebackers to the D-line to the DBs. I really feel uh, that we're more of a team this year, that we're more on the same, we're all on the same page. Um, for me, it's not really about standing out, but just bringing what I can to the table. Uh, just all around effort, just showing my guys that I never let them down, I never take a play out, just trying to run as fast as I can. I think overall, um, one of our main things we improved on was our strength. Um, we came in and changed up our weightlifting and our conditioning and such. and. Um, Overall, that's going to improve on our play in the field. And uh, one thing I'm excited about this season is just how our seeing our offense at full speed and how we're going to do against other teams. Um, we're running this real fast-paced offense, so it's just going to be great playing against some of these bigger guys. We're just going to be cutting them every play and seeing them and how they react throughout the game. Uh, I came in in the summer, and um, ever since then, expectations have been high. You know, I came in not expecting, not knowing what to expect, and. Since then, my eyes have been open, and we expect greatness. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, especially, we expect to uh, dominate this game. Uh, my goals this year are you know, to be a leader and to uh, step up when my team needs me and just basically get the ball in the playmaker's hands as much as possible.
I'm in the middle of all this organized chaos. Um, I, uh, I'm like the office manager. I take care of all the coaches, and my main responsibility is Coach Clark. Um, I just I help with the purchasing and the budgeting, and uh, I help some with travel, and um, I, I, I do a little bit of everything. I'm just, like I said, in the middle of all this organized chaos of football. Um, it just seems like they all, you know, got here, they all work well together, and they, they had a plan, and they follow that plan, and it, it's just boom, 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 every day. Real high, fast pace all the time, it's just something going all the time. Everybody was just excited, and it was, it's just, you know, just a lot of energy. <laughs> Whoa, I'm waking up. Coach Clark, you know, we, we have a very simple mission statement, and that is uh, to do it better than it's ever been done before. To be able to do that, uh, as, as a staff, you know, we work, uh, we work long hours, we, 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 we do all the, the preparation, um, but the players put in so much, so much time and effort uh, from, the, from the way they work out and the, and the way they prepared in the off season uh, and then during the season to come in and uh, and to do all the things that we ask them, and then and then the extra film study and the, um, the extra weight sessions. It's uh, it's been huge. I think Coach Clark's ultimate goal, obviously, is win a national championship, and uh, it starts with winning one game at a time. And uh, I think our kids have bought, bought into bought into that. We gotta win one game at a time. We break the, we break it down every day at the end of our practices and our weight room sessions as national champs. And then when it comes to uh, week one, we break it down to beat that opponent, and uh, our kids are understanding that. So, in order to obtain that, that ultimate goal of winning a national title, we got to make sure we recruit well, keep our kids in school, make sure we're doing the right things off the field, and uh, keep it our keep it our thumb on them as much as possible. Um, I believe the program has probably changed um, mostly. What you can see is is probably the standard of excellence that we set here. Um, you had guys who. Uh, had played at various high schools throughout the country and um, uh, played here last year. And I think uh, probably one of the main things that you've changed, that we have changed, is the things that we've asked them to do. Um, it comes to small details um, in the classroom, off the field, and those things are actually carrying over to our success on the field. You know, we told our kids day one, the guys, we want to put a championship uh, caliber football team on the field and that's what we expect. We expect championships and um, you know I, I think the kids have really really enjoyed that mentality of, of what Coach Clark has brought here um, as far as the expectations. And well recruiting nowadays is uh, definitely all about relationships and being able to develop those relationships and maintain those relationships and grow those relationships and uh, since a lot of our staff has been involved college football before, I've been involved with high school football, where we reach out within the state and reach out within the surrounding areas to, uh, to the high school coaches and kind of, hey buddy, what you, who you got right here? And they've known each other for five or six years or even more, it could be 20 years with Coach Clark. And uh, we're going to get straight answers from the high school coaches. And uh, the more high school clinics we put on here, the more high school coaches we have to visit our campus and see our campus, the better, the better off our relationships are going to be. You gotta be able to know the real coaches really well. And obviously you have to be able to identify talent, um, which I think we do a great job uh, here at uh, Jacksonville State. But um, one of the ways that we'll kind of keep the ball rolling, I guess, is you'll, you'll always look for that quality player. Um, guys that make schools kind of overlook who, who may not run the fastest times, but are um, great guys and be able to uh, understand the game, the knowledge of the game, and also um, very detailed work.